Sunday, I have the honor of sharing at Grace Fellowship Church on Elm Street right here in Lima. Come join us for the 1030 a.m. service. This morning, I had the chance to share with the Kenton Fellowship of Christian Athletes group and senior leader Chris Deardorff, the focus of our OIO prep profile tonight. Through the first three games, senior Chris Deardorff has a field goal, seven PATs to go along with 17 catches, three touchdowns, and a Western Buckeye League best 393 yards receiving. But he shares the spotlight with his teammates. Yeah, these guys are my family. I love them through thick or thin. I'd do anything for them. They're like a second family to me. And on or off the field, people see Deardorff in a special light. He's just a leader. Um, he, he's not the most outspoken person, but he's just a guy who leads by example. He's a guy who um, you can rely on. He's going he's gonna to give you a... He's going to give it all he has. He's going to give you his best effort. He's going to be committed to what he does. And even though it doesn't say much, you know he's going to do his job and you can count on him. When Deardorff isn't scoring points, he's strumming one of his six guitars, either in church or at the High Five Friday FCA meeting. Uh, the first guitar I picked up, I was probably seven years old. Yeah, so I've been doing it for a while now. Yeah, I love it. It's something that I love to do. Things aren't always easy in life, and the all-league football standout relies on God when those waters get rough. Well, my family's been going through a tough time. My parents got a divorce recently, so he's definitely been helping me through that. I ask him to kind of calm my heart to just, I don't know, give peace for my family. And he finds comfort with his peers at every Friday FCA huddle. It's a place where I can come with my peers and my friends and kind of just share moments that I've had with God and kind of just connect with other students. I think because a lot of my friends are in it and I've been able to make new connections and stuff through that and just like High Five Friday or talking about our problems and things where I feel like this is a safe place to talk about things that I might be struggling with or that other people might be struggling with. So. 